Hello, ninth graders. Welcome to module six, the very last module for this 2020 school year. And um, this has been an amazing year in many different ways. It has also been a bit traumatic. I'm super proud of all of you because it's not easy, I know, and you're still here, you still stuck to it, you kept working. In this class, we are going to be using the information from our previous class to write a four paragraph essay, a compare contrast essay. You're gonna write a four paragraph essay in which you're gonna compare and contrast viruses and bacteria. Let me write this here, viruses and bacteria. And this is the rubric. Your title is worth five points. Remember that in English, in your title, all the words are capitalized or the first letter of each word is capitalized. Kind of like this title comparison contrast essay. That's worth five points if you get it correctly. The first paragraph is going to be your introduction, and in that paragraph, you need to underline your thesis statement. That's going to be worth five points. If you want an example of how to write that paragraph, you can watch the seventh grade video. I gave them an example of the introduction paragraph with the thesis statement underlined. Your second paragraph needs to list three similarities. If you want an example of a paragraph listing three similarities, watch the eighth grade video. They were given an example of paragraph number two. Your third paragraph needs to list three differences. And here I am giving you an example of what your third paragraph could look like. That's worth five points too. In your fourth paragraph, you need to give me the conclusion. So you can start with the words in conclusion, and then you restate the thesis statement. Remember, that's very important, restating the thesis statement. Then five more points for your word count. The word count needs to include the paragraph and the four paragraphs and the title. And this assignment is worth 30 points. Here's an example of the third paragraph. This is the paragraph in which you're gonna list three differences. Unlike bacteria, a virus needs a living host to be able to multiply. Also, viruses are not considered living things, so antibiotics don't destroy them. Plus, they are smaller than bacteria. In this one paragraph, I listed the three differences. Notice I did not write number one, number two, number three, no. You just allow it to flow like a paragraph. The first difference is that a virus needs a living host. The second difference is that uh, antibiotics don't kill viruses. And the third difference is that viruses are smaller than bacteria. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. If you have any questions, any comments, remember to send it to it must be English at gmail.com. Also, I want you to write at the end, I think my appreciation grade should be, and give me the number that you think you deserve for appreciation grade. Okay? If there's any trouble with the platform, please feel free to send me an email at it must be English at gmail.com. Or if you have any questions, or you simply want to upload your work to the email, you are more than welcome to do that. Thank you so much for allowing me the privilege of being your writing teacher this year. I have enjoyed reading all the stuff that you've written. I have enjoyed uh, sharing the guidelines of writing with you. As you can see, I'm very passionate about writing. It's one of my favorite things to do. And that's why I've written 15 books and I'm working on the 16th one. And I'm so happy that for strange reasons, I got the privilege of sharing all of these little tips to get started in writing with you. Thank you so much for that. And I hope to see you next year. Bye-bye.